His last two big wins, that's in the World Cup when he won with Van Gerwen and the victory which he got in the Premier League, not in ranking tournaments. So Raymond has slipped a little bit down those world rankings, but this could be a very good match indeed to end off today's proceedings. He certainly played well the last three years, Simon Whitlock, in this event, semi-finalist winner and runner-up, as you said. Barney best performer semi-finalist three years ago. Well, he's got the spectacles on. Let's see what wow. he can do. Lovely from Whitlock. Oh, that's a bit unlucky. Oh, Great view there. If the point had been touching the board, it would have counted. But in the mid-air stream of the two trebles. Most recently in a big televised event, Raymond van Barneveld lost in the second round in Dublin in the Grand Prix to Mervyn King. Claimed a, a back problem on that occasion. Well, he got the feeling. Sometimes it depends on which side of the bed he gets out of. Whether he was going to perform on that big stage. We know how good he is, what he's won in the past. But now he's got a big effort to get himself back up them ranking tables. Maybe a change of darts as well, we reckon. Well, sometimes it can work in your favour. Almost oh, feeling like you're starting again, giving yourself a bit of a boost. Whitlock, by and large, he's one of those players who, who plays really well in TV events, isn't he? Although, having said that, he lost to Richie Burnett in the first round of the Grand Prix, but he has been, over the years, a really consistent performer in TV events, and for whatever reason, I guess because he's played so well over here, he is very popular with the German crowd. Yeah, but still looking for a maximum for Whitlock. And leg one. Yeah, certainly very popular over here. We see the four... Um, Guys dressed up as uh, Whitlock quite often over here in Germany. The lookalikes. So this to take the opening leg against the darts. Tops required. Not to be. That amazing comeback Whitlock against Jamie Caven, didn't he, in the quarterfinals last year? What was he down? 9-3 or something and came through? It was 9-3. Barney takes the first leg. Whitlock had the chance. Two doubts at the double, courtesy of a maximum. Couldn't hit the double at the end. Barney steps in. Yeah, Whitlock. 9-3 down against Jamie Caven. Ended up winning the match. But Caven only had one doubt at the double to win it. Darts from Barney. That's better. Both started the leg with a 140. And both have started well, scoring heavily in this match. Both of them averaging nice. over the 100 mark. Uh, Whitlock be disappointed with that first leg. As you can see, they're both just over the 100. But very, very early in the match, as really we know. Both can change. Whitlock did all the hard work, didn't he? Left himself a good opportunity to take the leg against the throw. Missed it. Barney stepped in. That's good from Whitlock. Can't leave a finish now. Can hang around. Whitlock, he, we've seen him before go down the, t go down the board here, but he's stayed up. Just what he fancies on the occasion, usually goes 17 16s, doesn't he? He does sometimes go around waltzing Matilda, doesn't he, around the board? <laughs> well, one for the 25, but just dipped into the three. So a chance for Whitlock here to get level. Tops required for the equaliser. Not there. Barnevelt can hurt him now. He can do. Start on the 19s. He'll go for the treble. But it's a single, so it's now for treble 20 for the bull. He'll be disappointed. You can see the grimace there from Barney. Yeah, knew he had a chance there. Didn't take it. Whitlock, his fourth attempt at a double. He's yet to get one. Tops. 
into the game and he'll feel happier with that loyal happy. supporters he's got a big smile on her face definitely in the Whitlock camp so the two popular players over here in Germany these two Good last one it's good to see the form that uh, Raymond produced in the Premier League wasn't it I don't think when the event started too many people anticipated him emerging as champion but he did it with throwing like that well, sometimes you want to shake his hand sometimes you want to give him a slap on the back of the head maximum of peace Barney looking good in this leg to hold throw. Returning, looking for 96 to take out the leg. And if he does it, it'll be a 12 data. Could be an 11 data. Double 18, that's what it is. That's what he can do. He puts his mind to it. Still averaging 105, just short of 106. 59. Whitlock will know he's in a game now. Highest winning average we've had today came earlier on this afternoon when Brendan Dolan accounted for Michael Smith. Somewhere between 105 and 106. 43. Good performance from Brendan. Threw really well, didn't he? Yeah, good solid performer, but he upped the ante there. Knew he had to against Michael Smith, one of the players of the future wow. if you want to say that people tipping him for great things but not this weekend a young member of the army though yeah good to see the kids plenty of them over this weekend one venture down here to the venue now there's some big crowds tomorrow and on Sunday some wow. terrific darts assured yeah, certainly gathering some momentum in Europe, certainly in Germany. European tour, five, four or five events in Germany. Why has Darts and support just gone off the boil a little bit? That's good throwing from Raymond 19. van Barneveld in, in in Holland, in the Netherlands, with the number one player in the world and the Premier League champion. You think it'd be on a on a roll? Yeah. Been an influx too long, and too much, I would say. Since Barney won the World Championships, it took off quite a few years ago. 59. Still popular on the TV, just not in the venues for some strange reason. I'm sure it'll pick up some good young Dutch players coming through. I've seen a few today. So Whitlock to try and square off the match. Van Barneveld's on 80, poised, and Whitlock now for 110. Treble 17 would leave tops. He's missed it. Well, treble 19 leaves double 16. So that's his normal route. He always goes down for 19th and 17th for 110. All the players wouldn't go that route. Oh, chance for Barney here to go two legs clear. Double 10. Mm, just not enough movement to the inside. He knows it. That's a great opportunity. Missed. Chance to take one against the darts. That was a big miss. He knows it. And Whitlock now gets the response. Gets out of jail. 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, could have been 3-1 down there. Last leg was... It's like he's broke one of the barrels at the top there, as you can oh see. Yeah. Robin Hood shot. He was. Yeah, you can see he's broke it. He's going over to replace it. We'll have a break at the end of this leg. 97. Van Barnevel will be desperate, desperate to hold his darts here and maintain that slender advantage going into the break. Running repairs on the darts having to be made. New bins will help. Yeah, just chuck them on the floor. Can't be bothered to put them in. 
Got the new stem. It's Turkish time. Well, the last leg before the break, and as you can see there, the end of the barrel. Darting well, the carnage. Snapped at the end. That's what holds the flight in. Underway once more. One. Smiles on the faces. Some, some good darts here today. We'll see some humdingers over the weekend. Last 16 tomorrow. And then quarters, semis and <laughs> final on Sunday. Simon Whitlock's won the last three meetings against Raymond van Barneveld. Terrific match in the world match play when Whitlock won by 18 to 13. As you find. Have to go back to the Premier League for Barney's victory. It's a good market for Whitlock. Just to the left. One and Couldn't quite get the second one in. Barney's only first in this fifth leg. The last one before the break. That's a good market. Needs another for the maximum. And he gets it. His second of the match. Puts him in prime position to lead at the first break. But back comes Whitlock. Back comes Whitlock. Went for the 18s. So 96 for Van Barneveld for the 3-2 advantage. Treble 20 would leave double. Not quite. Chance for Whitlock. 108. Should go for the 19s, his favourite. Stay there. Treble for double 16. Not quite happened. Treble 18 will leave double 8. Barney returns to the ball for tops. To He's lead at the break. Of four in double attempts so far. Double 10. He's with the darts here. Needs to hold his throw and does so. That was a big one. And you can see from his reaction as it hit that double 10. Relief. Determination, Van Barneveld keeping his slender... He so looks more up for it today, doesn't he? No, Whitlock beard's looking a bit threadbare compared with previous years. Need some curlers. Nick one over the top there, didn't quite go in. Last one. Just keeps the momentum. Keeps the pressure on his opponent. 83. Good darts on Barnabell. Still averaging nearly 97. And putting the Whitlock throw under a little bit of pressure. One. Certainly is. Only 158. It's an opportunity here. Good last one again. It's two or three times. That last start has made the difference. So 102 then to take the leg against the darts. Well, 2 or 14 with the left tops. Well, he's tidied up. But Whitlock on 62. Will he get one dart at the double? Will it be two? It does have some strange ways of going, but normally it's trouble 10. So 20 for double 16. For three apiece. Oh dear, that missed by that missed by a long way. It was, wasn't it? For a moment there, I thought he'd miscounted because it was nowhere near the double. Almost, almost harder to put that dart there than to get it in the double. I like the little look to the crowd as if it was their fault. Well, lucky from Barney there. Three good darts. Sixes for Whitlock. 
Oh, they're finding these doubles elusive now. Oh, lovely good down under. <laughs> so <laughs> hardest of the lot, bottom of the board. There you go. Oh, like a boomerang going around the board there, but he got the double three. That's the important thing. Back to 3-3. Three, three. Been much between them in the six legs so far. Barney had the chance to go 3 1 ahead, didn't take it. Whitlock comes back to 3 3. Race to six. Well, trying to psych himself up. You can see the determination there. Against the throw as well. Barney needs to respond. Respond he is. Responding very well. Third Stop. maximum for RBB. Very good. No finish though for Van Barneveld. Whitlock is on 170. Yeah, the biggest finish. Well, may go for the bully here. No, he's gone downstairs. Hey. Needed that treble though, didn't he? Maximum check one. out, Whitlock looking for. Still on. Oh, just outside. Nice. It was a good marker, wasn't it? 88 for Barnevel. Treble 20 for double 14. Here it's a single. Well, he's hit the treble, so two darts at double 14. Maintains his lead. Back to 4 3. Awkward for Whitlock there, has to make the switch. And treble three. Wow. Throwing well now, Van Barneveld. Well, he's got a good chance here. 62. Well, look to the skies there for the Aussie. Treble 20, but two in the single one. When you're playing, and then somebody who does that, it just gives you a little wow. bit of a lift. Good last dart. Barney just squeezing one in and maintaining the advantage here. If he takes this against the darts, he's going to be wow. within one leg of taking his place in that second round and that match against Van der Voort. 2 6 one, trying to sneak one over the top. Yeah, good second dart there. Always tends to do that, leaving his favourite 156. Whitlock needs all three, I think. No finish. Not quite there for him, is it? So, two treble twenties and a double 18 for Van Barneveld. Not this time. Needs to tidy up somewhere. Ooh, that's ragged. A visit there from Barney. Still needs a good check out to win the leg. Both players just feeling the pinch a little bit, feeling the pressure. Barney for 124. Well, that's a great first dart. 14 would leave the bullseye. Here it goes. Just outside. Unlucky. Can Whitlock hit the ball. He needs trouble 19 to leave it and hasn't left it. So Barney will return 25 to go one leg away. Another chance to take the leg against the darts. Double eight for Barney. Big leg. 5-3. He'll have the darts and he can sense victory now. As you can see he's close to that finishing line. One leg away. 93. Whitlock, we know though, will battle on. One Remember that? Remember that amazing comeback against Jamie Caven last year in the quarterfinals? Looked as though he was beaten, but came back and won the match. He's a 
player wow. you can never write off. Like a lot of the other players, a momentum player. When you win two or three legs on the trot, the purple patch, wow. you just go to the board knowing you're not going to miss it. Nothing between them so far in what could be the final leg. Van Barneveld, though, crucially with the darts. Do with the treble here. Nice. Yeah, good. Good dart there from Barney. Decided to move down the bottom of the board. Both players trying, but not this time for Whitlock. Whitlock might be in big trouble here if Van Barneveld. Well, he's not finding the trebles. Oh, he's shaking his head, but he's still in a good position. Gives him a chance, on. Dan Barnevelt, 152 for the match. Two trouble 20s, double 16 for place in round two. There's, There's one. one. There's one. Good recovery. This is a must take. One senses. 102 for Whitlock to stay alive. Great first dart. Single 10 leaves. Double 16. 86. On the wire. But not in. Valiant attempt. And this is for the match now. Tops for Van Barneveld. Oh, nerves. Didn't threaten it, did it? <laughs> what, with a bit of a cheeky smile on his face, thought it was over. Double four. Stay in the match. Stay in the match, he does. A little bit of a nod of approval. Well, well. Just when you thought the match was all over, Barney just couldn't find the double he needed. And he'll be thinking about it as well. 93. To keep his composure. He's been there thousands of times, as we know. In the back of his mind, the insurance of throwing first in the last leg. 57. We all know anything can happen in those last leg deciders. We've had quite a few today. And he's missed a glaring opportunity, and that little uh, that little factoid will be festering at the back of his mind. Well, yeah, he's had three darts to win it. He might not get another go. One. Well, three fifty can be done in six. Maximum score and maximum finish, but not this time. But he's back. Well, I'm truly 83. back in the match. Could have been in the back room now. There's Sylvia cheering Raymond on. Giving him a bit of stick. It's working. It's I, think working. He I think he did. I think she threatened him with housework there. Sure he's not averse to helping him. 164 then for the match. Treble 18 to leave the bull's eye. This is for the match and a spectacular 164. Not quite. Almost Raymond, not quite. This one is a bigger finish, but not this time for Whitlock. Can only leave it and hope Barneville misses again. He missed three darts in the previous leg. Well, he couldn't get across the line last time. Now double eight for the match. Agonising waits before he let that dart go, and Barney does it. He's beaten the man who's been a specialist here in recent years, Simon Whitlock. Barney into the next round, and that second round match against Vincent van der Voort. He wins on this occasion here in the final match of an eventful day by six legs to four. The celebrations are Dutch.